There's a craft beer revolution underway. And it's sweeping across America. The number of breweries is higher than any time since 1870, and new brewery growth is off the charts. I'm Andy Curtis. Why don't you guys serve this at the bar? <laughs> and I'm Jill Zimieski. I love it. We're heading across America to take you behind the scenes to some of the best breweries in the country. Welcome to Frankwood Brewery, the yeah. oldest brewery in the state of Michigan. So this is our brew house here. This is actually where the magic happens. Well, make the beer. So what we're doing today is we are brewing a uh, traditional German Doppelbach. There you go, I'm a brewmaster, that's all it takes. We'll pair up the food. I wouldn't generally think of washing down a dessert with a beer. That works 100%. And we'll learn the craft of brewing. Here, take that. These are the hops. Those are the hops. Why are these different than the ones we had just, you know, the cooler right next to where we're going to be? These are German them. hops. Directly from the brewmaster rock stars leading this revolution. You are going to get dirty, all you right. are going to get messy, and I'm going to make sure of it. What you need to first do is take and wipe some of it off with your finger and taste that. No, should I be concerned that maybe it's mud and this is a joke? No, absolutely not. Cheese. Okay, good. That's all I need here. Mm. Be honest, what Bitter. do you think? Bitter? Mmm, very. All coming up on Pure Ruse America. Textbook. Yeah. It's like I've been doing it for years. So this is all the grain that we're using and we're taking it to Main Kevel where we're gonna start mashing in. You actually saturate the, uh, the grain with water, get it up to a certain temperature. Once it gets up to temperature, we'll uh, get the mashing process. Today we're doing a traditional German Doppelbach. Okay. A Doppelbach is a double bock. A traditional Bach beer is typically comes out in the wintertime. Doppelbach is just a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker, higher alcohol, and so it's uh, even more so of a warmer. The secret is to take big bucket full. Yeah, I don't want to make a mess of grain on the, on the floor, that kind of stuff, because then I'm going to have to smack the crap out of it. Grain is money. Oh, we're going to go little scoops. There you go, I'm a brewmaster. That's all it takes. Hey, Jeff, what kind of barley are we using for this? We're using some traditional uh, two-row barley. Then we're using a German Munich malt and a German uh, Crystal 60. you got to bend it to knees and not get splashed by the water when it comes back. The pump is ready to pump it through this little line right here. You'll see it. It'll start blasting through. Sample out. Don't drop the tool in there or I'm gonna have to send you in. Yeah, to send yeah, if it, if it hits that prop, it'll break it. Alright. Mmm. Starch in the present of iodine will turn either a deep purple or black. Okay. Make sure that the process is going as it yep. should. It, it, it has converted. It's chewy. Mmm. Mmm. And really hot. Why don't you guys serve this at the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Most people would go, what are you giving us? 